Hey guys, welcome back. My name is Sarah, and I make lots of plus size fashion videos just like this one. I also make lots of uh, cook with me videos, clean with me videos, what's for dinner videos, mommy videos, lifestyle content, decorate with me, shop with me, makeup and beauty, and all of that type of stuff. And I'm currently 10 weeks pregnant right now with my third little baby, and um, so there are going to be little sprinklings of some pregnancy related videos as well. So if any of that strikes your fancy, I would love it if you hit subscribe button down below and turn on that post notification bell so you're notified every time I post and if you haven't already I would absolutely adore it if you followed me on Instagram at Sarah England and today's video is gonna be a plus-size fashion haul I feel like I haven't done a plus-size fashion haul in a really long time I haven't made a lot of videos recently because I've been feeling so miserable with my morning sickness but I'm 10 weeks I'm on the edge I can feel it it's like really terrible right now, but I feel like it's not gonna get any worse. I feel like we're just gonna go downhill. Fingers crossed, I'm praying about it. It's rough, but I'm trying to stay motivated and I wanna get videos out for you guys because I miss you and I want you guys to have some content and stuff to watch as well. Also, I like ordered a huge um, loungewear, pajamas, quarantine wear, haul like a month and a half ago kind of in the beginning of this whole quarantine situation when everybody was at home before any kind of restrictions were lifted and i literally just got the last item in like last week it's taken like a month and a half to get everything in um so tell me if you guys are interested in seeing any of that if you like a plus size fashion like loungewear haul, if you're interested in any of that. I know that a lot of states are lifting their restrictions. In Texas, it's kind of lifting right now. I'm not going out anytime soon. I'm pregnant, I have three small children. My mom is on lifetime chemo. I don't wanna risk getting sick. I don't wanna risk getting her sick. Any of that, my husband, of course, nothing. Um, so for me, it's not worth the gamble to go out because I don't need to. Um, so I'm still in my loungewear. I'm still in my PJs all the time. So kind of let me know if that's something you're interested in, if you're over it, if you don't wear PJs anymore, if you're over quarantine fashion and all that stuff and you wanna look forward to summer and that, you know, just let me know. Tell me what you're interested in. Let me know below if you'd like to see that. Um, okay, also before I start, I know a lot of you guys, a lot of you guys also always ask for my lip color so I wanted to include it. Um, this is the lipstick I'm wearing underneath and this is Clinique's um, Almost Lipstick in Black Honey. This is one of my all-time favorites. I love this. It's beautiful. It's moisturizing. It's like a sheer but not almost lipstick. It's buildable. I love it. And then on top of that, I am wearing a ColourPop So Juicy Lip Gloss in Stunton. I just feel like a, like a weird Stunton. Stunton? Stunton. Anyway, it's beautiful, it's comfortable, very minty, um, but that is on my lips today. So today's haul is actually from Shein. They were super sweet to contact me and ask if they can send me a couple of free um, items to share with you guys. I'm not paid by them, I'm not an affiliate, I don't get any commission, anything like that. You know the drill. They just sent them to me for free, and I'm super grateful to share them with you. If you don't know what Shein is, it is a Chinese-based online fashion store. They have not only um, women's clothing, but they have from straight to plus size women's clothing. They even have some maternity and they have men's fashion. They have a ton of accessories. Um, I don't think they have any kids, but I may be wrong. Um, anyway, I'm sure you know what Shein is. Um, I have done a haul on my channel with them before that I purchased everything from them before. I really like their clothes. I think that they're really beautiful. I think they're really trendy um, and they're really inexpensive. Now, are you getting quality from like Nordstrom's or Saks Fifth Avenue or anything like that? Absolutely not. And I feel like we all know that. However, the prices are really reflective of the pieces that you're getting. You're getting quality items I feel like that you would get at like Forever 21, Rue 21, Fashion Nova stuff like that. Um, they're really trendy, they're really cute, and I feel like if you want to add a couple um, fun items to your wardrobe but don't want to splurge, these are great options, and then later on you, you can always donate them or sell them on Poshmark. You know what I'm talking about. I feel like they're great. I love them. Anyway, 
So enough chatting, let's get started. So I have five things to show you. I feel like everything worked out really well. I will say one item I think they sent to me by mistake. It wasn't one that I picked. Um, and that was like, didn't work out for me really at all. Um, but everything else I'm pretty uh, satisfied with. And there's a lot of really, really cute things. Um, if you don't know me, my body is currently under construction with a baby but I still um in a currently a pretty true 1x size 16 during my pregnancy I normally lose weight because I get morning sickness but I lose weight in weird places because I'm obviously not losing weight in my stomach because that's expanding or my boobs but I lose weight in like my rib my ribs my chest my arms stuff like that um but I will say as of right now I feel like I'm still a pretty true 16 and so just keep all of that in mind I guess Okay, so we're gonna start with the first item. I'd seen this in a couple different variations and I loved it. And it is leopard. Um, I don't know if leopard or cheetah print has gone out of style. I don't think it has. I feel like it's gonna be here for a bit longer. I love it. I think it's cute regardless if it's gone out of style. Um, and this is just a really cute, very lightweight blouse. Um, and it's peplum, high low um, in the back with a nice, nice low hanging butt coverage in the back um, and the sleeve it has this really beautiful scalp lace detail at the end of it I just thought that I added a little bit of femininity um, I will say that this shirt has absolutely no stretch so I would definitely follow your size and the size chart now the only thing that i will say about shein is that the sizing can kind of be really hit or miss um even following the size chart or reading the comments some people will say it runs really big other people will say it runs really small this particular item people were saying it ran small and there was no stretch i agree there's absolutely no stretch however i feel like if i had gone true to size it probably would have been a little bit better um i got a 3x in this the way that Shein has their sizing set up is a 1X, which is normally a 16, which is normally what I am, is actually a 14. 2X is a 16, 3X is an 18, and so on and so forth. And so I did end up going to an 18 just to be careful. However, I feel like I could have gone to that 1X, which is the 14, and been fine. So it's kind of hard to know if it's like true to size, the number variation as far as like 1x, 2x, 3x, 4x, 5x, or the actual numerical 14, 16, 18. Um, I don't know, it's kind, of, it's kind of hit or miss sometimes, but I feel like everything I got besides one item works really, really well. Um, yeah, so that's all I wanted to say. So this is a little bit big. I feel like I would have sized down at least one, but I feel like it's nice accommodating for my growing bump. Um, and I still think it looks really cute. I think this would look great with skinnies underneath it, black skinnies, denim, shorts, even leggings because there's a nice coverage of the booty in the back. It is a little bit wide on the arms, but I'd rather have it be a little bit looser than be too tight. Um, but I think it's really cute, and I think as my bump progresses and pregnancy progresses, I think this will look adorable. The reason that I like to share with you non-maternity items for pregnancies, especially for plus size women, it's really hard to find cute maternity clothes, inexpensive maternity clothes, things that will just work and accommodate for a longer period of time. It can be really difficult, so I always like to share that with you. Um, regardless, I would have bought this had I not been pregnant. I just think it's so gosh darn cute, and if you are currently pregnant, postpartum, have insecurities about your tummy, this is a perfect option for you because it does such a good job at kind of just hiding that area, and I just think it's super cute, really, really lightweight, perfect for the summertime all right the next thing I'm gonna share with you is kind of cra crazy I saw this and thought this was the coolest thing now um, I believe in the picture the girl had this and then she had like a bralette underneath it and then biker shorts so it's probably how it's meant to be worn I honestly know have no idea how I'm gonna wear it <laughs> but I thought this was literally the coolest fabric I had ever seen and had to get it and it's this really cool like mesh shirt look at that fabric look how cool that is it's so cool it's like almost duochrome like oh my gosh i think it is so cool it looks like liquid i don't know i thought this was the coolest thing um the only thing i will say once again is i sized up to a 4x on this because everything said it ran small once again there's a little stretch i feel like there's a a, a 
quite a bit more give than the last top. However, um, it's not overly abundantly stretchy, so I can see where people were coming from from that, but this is definitely too big. It's too big on my neck area, and it's too big on my arms, but I think I can easily make it worth work, especially for my um, growing bump, but even just like tying it around the waist area or something, I just think this is gosh darn cute. I do wish, however, they picked maybe a little bit more of a feminine cut. I feel like with this like kind of crew cut um, style that it's not, I don't know. I think the fabric is so cool. I just wish it was in a kind of different cut. I just didn't see anything offered in a different cut in this, but if they make this in more styles i will buy it because this fabric is the coolest thing in the world um i wish i knew how to sew because i would try to reconstruct this thing <laughs> all right moving on to my favorite piece of the whole entire haul it is this beautiful mustard you guys know i love the mustard dress wrap dress if i can find the top um it is so pretty I love it. I do believe this came in another color, but I had to get mustard. But basically, it's this really pretty floral chiffon -y type of fabric with tassels everywhere, as you can tell. I love it. Oh, this is blood test for <laughs> baby stuff. <laughs> anyway, but I love the tassels. Anyway, um, so there's tassels on the sleeves all the way down the bottom of it and like the wrap side it's just so pretty so cute there's a nice clasp um at the like the cleavage area and the bust so it's not overly you know hanging out everywhere however you can't undo that if you want to your cami underneath or what have you um it does have a nice sash this isn't an actual real wrap dress it's a faux wrap dress but this fits so beautifully and just looks so nice i love it um it, there is an elastic waist so it does you know have that bit of movement and room um there's no actual stretch in the fabric but for the most part i think this is so beautiful it's like hit the nail on the head this is in a 3x i am happy with this size it did say that it ran small this is the size that i would recommend if you are my size um it's beautiful i love this i think this will be so nice for church whenever that happens again um any sort of just like outings whenever that happens again i don't know it will be pretty to kind of uh dress up for the fall time with some cardigans i think it's stunning i'm super excited about it i really really like it okay this next item was one that i think got sent to me by mistake i'd originally picked something out in this fabric um but was told that it was out of stock and so i picked something different but i don't i don't know how this happened but i was i'll share this with you anyway <laughs> and it's this kind of i don't know if it's like carnations or poppies or it's a red floral pattern and it's really really busy on camera and in person um and the original one i had picked was another peplum because i have a problem um but this is just it's like a little you know so it's a top <laughs> and it has like cap sleeves and then it ties kind of cinches in at the waist with that ribbon and is a little bit of a high low as well this just does not fit well it doesn't look good on me at all it is not complimentary granted i am pregnant um so that may have to do with it but it's just it's not my cup of tea it's not how i necessarily like things had i had my body type been different this may totally work for me um but i just think it's a little bit too busy and it comes up a little bit too high on my neck and i just feel like it makes me look kind of boxy rather than helping accentuate my figure so this is definitely not my favorite um i would purchase this again but then again it could work i don't think this is a bad piece at all i don't think that the quality is bad or anything um i just don't personally like it on me next and lastly i have one more peplum <laughs> um i love them regardless but i just and i feel like they had a lot of really cute options i don't know if peplums are coming really into style this summer um but for me being pregnant i don't love showing off my belly super 
prominently. I feel like maternity clothes are meant to be like, boom, belly shot. Um, and I don't have a perfectly round belly. I never had a perfectly round belly, even when I wasn't plus size. And I know a lot of women don't have that perfectly round belly. And so it can be sometimes a little um, hard. And I, I struggle with a little bit of insecurity with that. So I like to have like a little bit more of a flowy kind of top to go over my bump. I like the 60s kind of vibe with the baby doll thing. I just think it looks really cute and it's just really sweet and feminine. Um, so I went with another peplum. This is another mustard beauty. Um, I feel like this particular fabric with this floral design is pretty popular. Um, and I've seen so many dress styles in this and other shirts and stuff like that. And I just think it's so beautiful. Um, and just really like kind of timeless. I love the fabric. It's once again really nice and lightweight. It's almost like a crepe fabric. Um, and the sleeves are capped, but they have this little tie, which is actually kind of nice because they give your arm a little bit room. So if the, you know, like your, you struggle with having a bit bigger arms or something like that, it has a little bit more space to adjust. Um, but it's also just a really cute accent and of course that peplum. This one isn't particularly high low However, I feel like it is long enough on my torso to cover quite a bit um, This is in a 2x so this ran way bigger. <laughs> so this is technically my true size uh, On Shein because their 2x is a 16, but I could have easily gone down to a 1x on this because this is definitely big however once again I like it I think it's easily to adjust I think it'll be really cute with like straight tight fitting jeans on the bottom um, once again a really good option for church and perfect for a plus size maternity or postpartum or what have you all right so that is it thank you guys so much for watching um i hope you found a couple pieces i really enjoy shopping on shein i find that they have really really cute things like i said sizing can kind of be like a hit or miss but i think once you find like a good level like i think from now on i'll probably just order a 2x to be safe and i feel like more than likely unless it says oh this definitely runs small i'll probably be pretty fine and then I'll, you know, you know what I'm saying. Um, but I feel like I'm getting a bit more of a understanding of the way that their sizes run. And I do that with every store anyway. So it takes a little bit to kind of like, yes, that's my true size. But other than that, I really enjoyed this haul. I hope you guys did too. Let me know below where you would like to see a haul from next. And if you wanted to see that quarantine loungewear pajama haul, there was a lot of really cute things that I got and I would love to show you. But if you're not interested, you know. No, no biggie. Also, let me know if there's anything else that you would like to see. Any pregnancy related content, any mommy or lifestyle content. Um, just let me know below. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you very soon in my next video. Bye, guys.